guys so this is a really long overdue part two video to my video talking about tms so quick refresher tms is transcranial magnetic stimulation which is um a treatment that uses a magnetic pulse to stimulate different nerve cells in your brain and this is used to treat um, depression. It also can treat some anxiety symptoms and some PTSD symptoms. And there's a lot of research being done on other things that it can treat. Um, but that's basically it. So I went through a full nine weeks of treatment, I believe, total. Um, it was 36 appointments total. Uh, so they started out five days a week, and then I slowly kind of tapered down as time went on um, until the last week. I just had one appointment and then I was done. Throughout the course of the treatment, the way that they measure progress is they give you different scales to fill out. So I had to fill out an anxiety scale and a depression scale, and I think those were the only two that I filled out. Um, and then they use the numbers on those scales weekly to see how you are improving with the treatment. So um, once I was completely done with all of the treatments, I met with a psychiatrist who kind of was the one overseeing my treatment process. Um, and I think like I talked about in my first TMS video, which I will link at the end of this one, um, halfway through when I had my check-in with a psychiatrist, he decided to increase the length of time that I was doing treatment for, which um, essentially just increased the number of pulses that my brain was getting. And this was because I wasn't really responding to the treatment. And that's kind of what they can do if you're not responding. They can just basically increase the amount of time that you're there for. So you're getting more pulses and hopefully seeing a better result. So I was told that 70% um, of people see positive change and 30% of people do not see positive change. Unfortunately, I fell into the 30% category and within that category, I fell into an even smaller percentage of people who actually experience no change or a slight worsening of symptoms. I don't think that my worsening of symptoms was related to TMS. Um, what showed on my scales was that my depression numbers stayed exactly the same throughout the entire treatment. My anxiety um, scales went up. So I think that the reason that the scales went up was just because I was going through some more um, intensive trauma work in therapy at the same time. And I was also going through Spravato at the same time. So I was like doing a lot of like really stressful treatments at once. So I don't think TMS increased my anxiety. I think it just, it was just a result of everything that was going on at the time. So yeah, the psychiatrist told me that unfortunately, like I was in the, the lower percentage of people that don't experience any result at all. He said, typically the people that fall into the 30% category have ex experienced some decrease in their depression symptoms, just not enough to be considered a positive response. Um, that was not, not the case for me, of course, um, unfortunately. But that being said, I just want to say that I think that TMS is still a really great option. I mean, the research shows that it can be very effective for a lot of people. And just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean that it won't work for someone else. So I do think it's something that you should definitely give a try if you are struggling with treatment-resistant depression. The benefits, I would say, of TMS are it's non-invasive and, like, you can drive yourself to appointments and it doesn't, like, impair you for the rest of the day. Um, the only side effect that I really had with mine was sometimes I would have a headache for 20, 25 minutes after treatment, but it would go away. So it wasn't really, like, enough that I considered it, like, a really negative side effect. The annoying thing about it is at the beginning, you do have to be there five days a week. So it is a big time commitment, but the appointments themselves typically only last 20 minutes. So it's really not, it's at least not like a huge chunk out of your day, even though you're going um, five days a week. So I would still highly, highly recommend this treatment option to people that are, you know, maybe just getting started with their um, depression treatment and maybe starting to realize that they have um, medication resistant depression or treatment resistant depression. This is a really good non invasive um, first step, I think. And they talk about TMS as being completely painless, which I will say is not true. It is definitely painful, but you do get used to it over time. And generally, um, what happens as people go through treatment is that the power that 
is needed for the magnetic pulse um, to trigger um, something in their brain actually goes down. So the treatment will get more comfortable as you go on with it. And it's painful, but it's not unbearable. Um, so it's, I still think it's a really good non-invasive option. For me, one of the kind of interesting things that came out about um, maybe a positive effect that TMS had that also could explain the increase in anxiety is that it's very, very new, but they're just starting to do some research on if they can use TMS to treat Alzheimer's. TMS has been shown to maybe help with memory a little bit, and they're exploring that with Alzheimer's now. So before improved memory wasn't really a thing that people were thinking about too much with TMS. But something my therapist noticed as I went through the TMS process was that my memory improved a lot. And the reason that this could have caused my anxiety to go up was because it was increasing my like long-term memory. So I was having an easier time remembering traumatic events and remembering traumatic events that I had remembered previously, but in more detail now. So again, didn't feel great, but it could have been a positive result of the TMS improving my memory, which is then helping me to work through and process these traumatic memories. Because one of the really frustrating things about these memories for me is that like, I can't see them clearly. So even though it's not, doesn't feel great to remember your trauma better, um, it's probably going to help me overall. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about TMS or anything about the TMS process, how it works, what it does, uh, please feel free to leave those in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. And to just conclude one more time, I want to say that I would definitely recommend TMS as a good treatment option, even though it didn't work for me. I still think that it's a really good option for a lot of people to explore, especially if you're just starting out um, trying to figure out treatments for treatment resistant depression. There's a lot of treatments out there and there's a lot of really scary sounding treatments out there. And I think TMS is one of the least invasive ones and a really good first step. Um, so yeah, any questions, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.